I'm really excited to be reviewing the Teamco Pure One S12. We put it through a ton of tests to see how it compared to the previous model, the A11, as well as other cordless models like the Dyson V10 and V11. In general, I was really impressed, mainly because Teamco has made some serious innovations with this model that I think other companies are going to start copying it so good. So links in the description for current prices, and let's get started. I should mention that Teamco did send me this S12 for free to review, but as always, I think the tests we do speak for themselves and don't allow me much room to play favorites, even if I wanted to. Before we get to the tests, I need to run through the features, and man, this thing is packed with features. Starting with the attachments, and attachments can vary, but all four of the S12 packages have quite a lot of attachments. They all come with two batteries though, which I really like. They also come with a motorized pet brush for stairs or upholstery. Mine came with two cleaner heads, the direct drive head, which is good for hard floors or carpet, and the soft brush head, which is only good for hard floors, but it's really good for hard floors. I won't go through all the attachments, but there were some really interesting interesting ones like the hose extension tool, which I think is great for above floor jobs like car cleaning, and the filter cleaning tool, which is something Tinko has a patent for. Interestingly, one of the budget packages, the S12M, comes with a Wi-Fi camera for, I guess, spotting what things look like on the top of your refrigerator or other places like that, which you could actually clean with the angle tool and the soft brush if you wanted to. That one also has a phone clip where I guess you can entertain yourself while you work. It's pretty interesting, and considering Tinko has put a lot of effort into making the S12 12 really quiet, this could actually work. So there's a lot of stuff here that I've never seen before, and I think it's really clear that no matter which package you get, Tinko is the king of attachments. So the two really cool features here are the LED screen, which is only available on the S12 and S12 Plus, but especially the smart suction, so-called iLoop sensor, which they all have. As far as the screen, it shows you the percentage of battery life left, the power level you're on, which you can adjust via the slider, which is something I've never seen before. But the cool thing is the dirt sensor light when it's on auto mode, which we really need to talk about. So to understand the reason I think this is so cool, we need to discuss the Dyson V11, which came out a few weeks ago, which also has an LCD screen and automatically adjusts the power. So Dyson has a sensor which adjusts the suction based on if you're vacuuming hard floors or carpets. The idea is that it considers carpets to need a higher amount of suction, so if it senses carpet, it will boost the power, and it will come back down if it senses hard floors. The Tinko S12 also automatically adjusts the suction, but it adjusts the suction on the basis of how much dirt it's detecting rather than simply if it's vacuuming carpets or hard floors. The obvious advantage with the Tinko's take on this is twofold. Number one, if your hard floors are really dirty, it will boost the suction, which the Dyson V11 wouldn't do. Conversely, if your carpets aren't that dirty, it will keep the power normal so you aren't wasting battery life. All in all, I think it makes the Teamco automated system much better at optimizing performance as well as battery life, and I'm almost positive you're going to start seeing other companies copying this technology soon. Moving on to the tests and starting with power, we tested the suction and airflow on all of its power settings at various locations on the vacuum and found that the S12 measured 43 CFM on its high power setting and 26 CFM on low measured at the wand, which is more than its predecessor, the A11, as well as more than the Dyson V10. The new Dyson V11 does have more power, but there aren't many other cordless vacuums out there that even come close. The power showed up on its deep cleaning ability, where we embed 100 grams of sand into a medium pile carpet. Here the Tinko Pure One S12 scored 99% on max power, which is extremely high for a cordless vacuum. Only the Dyson V10 and V11 have come close to those numbers. As far as pickup ability on hard floors and carpet, we'll start with carpet. It picked up everything from fine debris to extra large debris on both low and high power. I only used the standard cleaner head on the carpet, but it did a fantastic job even with the extra large debris. On hard floors, again, it did good good with fine debris on low or high power, but like the A11 before it, it didn't do too well with larger debris like Cheerios or Fruit Loops, at least on hard floors, because the gate was just a little too small. Don't get me wrong, many vacuums can't do this either, and this test is a bit unrealistic, but this direct drive head does have a pretty small gate. That being said, the S12 Plus comes with the soft roller cleaner head, which had absolutely no trouble picking up debris of all types and sizes on hard floors. I actually much prefer Tyneco soft roller to Dyson soft roller, mainly because the Dyson soft roller doesn't handle that well, and in my opinion, Tyneco has really dialed 
in the swivel so it's really responsive without being jerky or stiff. One of the reasons I much prefer the S12 over the previous generation, the A11, is because of the upgraded build quality in all the right places. For example, the way the batteries attach are much better and less prone to problems. Similarly, the post motor filter housing has a tighter fit. In general, it just seems like they've upgraded the build quality significantly from the A11. Speaking of filtration, we tested this in two different ways. First with a 5 micron fog test, which showed no visible fog, which was really good. And with a closed room particle counter test, where it showed no statistical increase in the dust levels. I can't stress how rare it is to have a cordless vacuum with a good sealed system and HEPA filtration. And Tinko has really improved on their already good filtration system. As far as battery life, we know it gets 50 minutes per battery on low power with no attachments. That's 100 minutes total on low power and no other cordless vacuum I know of comes close to that amount of time. We tested it on its max power with the most power consuming attachment, the direct drive head, and it got exactly 10 minutes per battery, which is more than the V10 or V11 with its direct drive, and it's even better when you consider that it has another battery. The Tinko is a full pound lighter on the arm of the V11, which in my opinion is really helpful since I feel like these cordless vacuums that have all the weight on your arm can be tiring if they aren't as light as possible. The main downside to the S12 is that it's pretty pricey for a cordless vacuum, and you can check the links for current prices, but when you consider that it's one of the few sealed HEPA systems with top tier power, more attachments than anything else in the market, brand new technologies like the smart suction, the LED display, and unmatched battery life, you can see that there's a lot of value for your money with the Tinko S12. Consider a like if this video helped you out, or even better, a subscription to Vacuum Wars if you want to keep up with all the latest technology in the vacuum, robot vacuum, and carpet cleaning world. Thanks for watching.